Over the years, there has been a battle of softwares. We had wars between AkiCAD versus Rivet, AutoCAD versus AkiCAD. That's a war that will never end. We cannot compare the softwares. Both are very different from one another, and both have extremely useful features in their own genre. But at the end of the day, you need to choose your own cup of tea, right? What's up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll cover a smooth transition from AutoCAD to AkiCAD. This concludes that my cup of tea today is AkiCAD. AkiCAD at its core is very simple and intuitive piece of software. We have ebooks and made a lot of tutorials to quickly understand the AkiCAD beam concept and improve quality of drawings. I'll leave links where you can check them out. Without further ado, Let's get started. In AkiCAD, drawings are blended or meshed within the model. While in AutoCAD, we create the drawings independently, which is tedious and time consuming. With AkiCAD, we can create buildings virtually from real constructed elements like walls, windows, roofs, slabs, etc. Whereas in AutoCAD, we create drawings from 2D line work. To me, that is one major difference between AutoCAD and AkiCAD, hence why I choose to drink from an AkiCAD cup of coffee. <laughs> On this particular video, I'll show you a real life project migration from AutoCAD to AkiCAD through work in drawings and beyond, pushing the beam concept and demonstrating MS Beam workflows as usual. First things first, you have to save your AutoCAD file with the lower version of uh, DWG and then open the AkiCAD template, which on this video we'll use the MS Beam Pro template. Uh, this template is a holy grail with high quality pen sets, legend of rooms, uh, presets of views, um, presets of data stored, and favorites and so on designed mainly to improve workflows productivity as well as to improve quality of drawings all right step one uh, we import the dwg in AkiCAD. one may ask how you go to file interoperability merge merge from file and locate the file and place it in the center of the template that's it Simple as that. We have our 2D drawings in AkiCAD now. So the second step, we have to trace. That's it. Uh, you place the 2D drawings on the floor, level below, and use the trace reference, and then trace, trace the landworks accurately using walls, of which to speed up this workflow, I would use my visual library, which we the virtual library contains a lot of components that I'll, I'll need to finish off this project from walls, elements, footing, furniture layouts, and even doors and schedules, modules. These are just the resources precisely made to speed up our day-to-day -day project executions. You can check out this virtual library. We'll leave the link in the description for you guys to have it. All right. And then after I trace my model, and remember, we work with layers just to uh, easily manage our drawings for further use and as, we, as the project develops. We use uh, proper layers, everything. This line works, uh, have to be in our own layers, everything that we, we use. Yes, okay. After having modeled my walls, I can check progress of what I have accomplished thus far and I like like uh, we always emphasize a good template is important right now I can navigate to the saved views and check and analyze my project of what what has been you know occurring behind the scenes here I could just check on my elevations just the, just bare walls I could check on 
the schedules as well. Simple. Uh, already there. Uh, everything is just all you need to do is know the know how. Yes. And then, as for today, I'll be focusing on working drawings. So basically, it's all about uh, modeling and drafting. So not, so it's uh, you're not covering uh, schedules and extraction of data and stuff like that. So we need to focus on modeling. That's uh, our main concern today, as a differentiator from AutoCAD, since AutoCAD modeling is quite uh, difficult. For me, it was. I don't know if any of you guys uh, got into modeling AutoCAD 3D. Okay. So we model well. The cases that we emphasize on modeling well to eliminate uh, 2D drafting. And like we really model everything. This is where the visual library is useful. The, we have skatings. We have every element out there. Every element out there you really model well and in this workflow the 3d is everything we need to model well so that the sections and elevations look perfect without adding any 2d line work 2d work is automatically generated from the model unlike in autocad where you need to draft them yourself so i think that's where akiad stands out from the mold you know, and um, that's basically it. You need to model well, and here that 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 the 2D line work, we utilize them to model the 3D elements. As you could see here, I was demonstrating the the truss modeling. I was creating my own truss from this line works, and uh, we have an in-depth tutorial of how to do that, you know, the truss maker tools and all that. You know. Uh, it's just basically all about eliminating 2D work and extracting information, extracting 2D documents with ease, and so on. Moving on, uh, we, c we are now detailing our project. Uh, like The emphasis of this project is to, at the end of the day, extract construction documentations, and mostly construction documentations construction documentations uh, revolves around details. So details can be extracted from the model using the detail tool in AkiCAD. Uh, that's if you have modeled world and the confidence you'd have, you just extract. So here, the AkiCAD maker tools, you place it and then they're automatically generated. This is an ideal detailing workflow by just a click of a placing, by just a click of placing the detail maker tool, I can extract details with minimal 2D work involved. A huge advantage of model-based detail over 2D is that we can utilize and display information built into the elements, properties, descriptions, and classifications, practically any non-graphical metadata. There's a whole tutorial on using this detail tool in depth. We'll leave the link as well in the description for you guys to check it out. But uh, what I'm saying here, guys, it's all minimal. You know, it's all, it's all good. It's just a click of a button. Your elements have information already. So you have, you, do, you are not scared of extracting any detail from if details, beam details, uh, slab thickenings, uh, foundations, everything is is automated. That's basically the, the you know the the holy grail of working with beam automation and speeding up efficiency and productivity. And that's basically it. So when you are done with this, uh, we, you you move on and you you can publish your work. And working with your publisher work, working with publisher layouts. Uh, all you need to do is uh, uh, drag and drop saved views you wish to pull, you wish to publish, and then you can, you know, create your own master layouts and uh, navigate, play around, produce visually appealing documentations, play around with the elevations. This is just basically for 
municipal approvals. So uh, nothing intense in terms of usual appealing documentation, but construction presentation drawings. So that's, this is uh, how our workflows in the studio, how we work with construction documentations and how we publish, how we send them for approval and to, to the municipal. So that's basically it. This was um, just a demo reel, guys, and and uh, as always, just encouraging the MS Beam workflows and you guys to tap into this beam and transcend and transition to AkiCAD from AutoCAD. There's one guy who commented in our previous two videos. He wanted us to do this video. So this is just an introduction, the transition from AutoCAD to ArchiCAD. So it's all about increasing consistency on your drawings. You know, since everything from plans, details, and specifications is based on intelligent 3D models. You know, let's produce intelligent 3D models. And that's basically it. You can train with us. You could. Uh, check our courses of how to model, you know, bas basic BIM workflows. They have their own benefits. BIM has its own benefits. The MS BIM has its own benefits. Quality assurance, improved quality of uh, drawings and, you know, construction drawings. Uh, you save time and cost because, this, it, you know, this thing is, is fast. Reduce time of the workflow of the whole process of project delivery and you can win bids, you know, very quick. You can maximize your work efficiency and productivity with the template. You can check it out in the link in the description. Uh, check out our resources as well. If you made it this far, uh, thank you guys for the amazing feedbacks, interactions. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We produce videos like this weekly. And... You can check out this file and the link as well. Have it and practice. Practice your workflow and enjoy. Stay creative. See you in the next video. Bye for now.